This is an interesting one. Light of a single wavelength from a distant point source falls normally on a diffraction grating with its lines vertical. So if you look at a 3D of the how is it called? Yeah, the 3D diagram of the diffraction grating is actually this is a side view. Diffraction gratings generally look like this. Zip, 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 zip. There's many, 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 many lines, but you don't really see the lines because they're very small. So this plane of diffraction is right angle to the incident light. Okay. Student looks at the grating from a position near to the grating. What will the student see? Hmm. Now, if you have done this experiment before, you may know the answer. But if you have not, like most of us, you'll be like, I have no idea. I've never looked in the grating. How would I know what I'm supposed to see? So when we see the light from a distant point source, our instinct may be to think, okay, so maybe we will see lots of dots, you know, the maxima from point source. But actually, you have to be very careful because it's light from a distant point point source. They didn't tell us it's a laser or what, right? We, just, we only know it's a single wavelength distant point source. Distant means very, very, very far away. So imagine, oh, if you have a distant uh, a point source, for example, a single color LED, the light will spread out one. So if you are very far away, very, very, very far away, it's not, you won't see a point anymore. It'll be, very, it'll be quite spread out, okay? So that is one thing to note with the point source. You won't see a point source with a series of point sources or images on, on either side because it is a point source very far away. So, very far away. If it's very close, yeah, you will see the dot. But if it's really far away, you will see like a blob of light, very big already. Okay, you will just see light. Lah. I mean, that's also why they show all these lines coming in as parallel. Okay, so that means it's really, really far away. That's why they're all coming in parallel now. If not, it should have been the cone shape. Right? Point source, ma, light spread out. Okay, so anyway, very far away, come in parallel. So you won't see a point source in that sense. B, a central vertical line with series of spectra on either side. So yeah, you would see spectra. So if this is a green color light coming in, then maybe you will see something like that. But hang on a second. When they say series of spectra, what do they mean? Spectra mean there's like many many different colors coming out so maybe for example ah I, I have a picture here so this is an example of what you may see in a diffraction grating and this color if you notice ah, there's many many colors right this is what we call a spectra and that's because the source has many wavelengths now how am i supposed to write on this dark picture okay so you see this is a spectra and you got many wavelengths all separating and you can see them right there. So how many wavelengths do we have in our experiment here? One? Many? How do we know? Go and check out and see. So these are all the vertical lines that you can see uh, okay, from a uh, through a diffraction grating if you actually look into one. Pretty cool, huh? It's how people do experiments in labs. You know, they shine a light through it and then they see the spectra. Then like, oh, I think I know. This one is probably sodium. Hmm. Based on the color that comes out. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, back to here. So there's no spectra. Why? Because we are only looking at green light or, or not green. We have a single wavelength. So this is no because we only have a single lambda, a single wavelength source. So it should not have a spectra on either side. No, you would just have a vertical line, a vertical line, a vertical line, not a vertical line and then a different, different, different spectra. No, no, no. So C says, a series of fine vertical lines. I mean, that's kind of what we were looking at over there. Lah. So instead of having like, oh, blue and then red and then a few other colors and I don't know what other colors, maybe orange here. Okay, this is what we call a series of spectra. We won't see that. If we have green light, single wavelength, then we will just see green. Where's my green? Fine vertical lines. That's it. So, oh, this, this, this answer looks convincing. Maybe it's the answer, but let's check D. You will see a single point source. Oh, this is confirmed wrong. Because you know the light will spread out into many maximas, right? N equals 0, N equals to 1, N equals to 2. So you won't see just one image, you see many. So a single point source? Nah. Single is wrong, point source is also wrong. Okay, so the best answer here, although they, are, they sound kind of close, the best answer will be C a series of fine vertical lines with that wavelength. No spectra, spectra stuff. 
just that wavelength. If your light has many, many wavelengths, then yeah, you might see a spectra because the diffraction grating will split out or spread out all the different wavelengths in the light. Okay, second point, it's very, very, very far away, distant point source, so you won't see a point. Maybe if you use a laser light, you shine a laser, then yeah, maybe you'll see a dot from laser, but we, it, we don't know. It's a point source, so it could be wrong, could be correct. So the best choice is C for this one. Kind of tricky, huh? Okay, so that's all for this question on spectra. It's fun to go search up Google images just to see the different kind of diffraction patterns that may come out. And of course, you must know what is the light source. La. Don't simply say, eh, I see dots in the Google image. What is the point source? You got to know too. Okay, what is the source? Is it a light bulb? Is it a laser? Is it uh, the sun? Is it something else? A sodium lamp? Okay, so that is what you're going to think of. All right, so I'll see you in the next video. Next question.